it, it is very interesting. I mean, I, I think it's very obvious um, that there are a lot of moguls here um, and not the newly minted moguls. Um, but I think, you know, it, it's very exciting to see what I look at as the physical manifestation of what's happening in the industry at large from a convergence standpoint. So if you think about, you know, what we've been talking about for years, that convergence, media, marketing, advertising, technology, finance, this is where it's all happening. What's interesting is that it's creative, that is, it, that is in the middle of that wheel and all the spokes are all of those media, marketing, advertising, technology and entertainment companies. I do think the big difference this year are the moguls, uh, the very uh, large, and I, I never know what to call them, traditional or um, legacy companies. Uh, they're all here. And I think that says something uh, very, very definitive about the environment we're working in, which is a converged environment. And the conversation here is very focused on big deals, real partnerships, not the buzzword partnerships, real partnerships. So I, I really this week have sensed a bit of a change in the kinds of conversations that we're having here. And I think it's all to the positive. I don't believe that creative can ever be commoditized. Um, that notion, it, it's just antithetical to what creativity is. Uh, so I'm, I'm not there. Um, I do think that there are a lot of forces in the industry uh, that move us toward commoditization, and that is uh, certainly what we saw at Media Palooza this year. Uh, extraordinary uh, pressure on pricing, um, and I think also that that there's a lot of conversation around technology as commoditized. Uh, but as for creativity being commoditized, never. Cool. And then um, the Mary Meeker thing about the 85% of the advertising and digital is uh, Google and Facebook. Is that scary? Is that is that because it, they're safer places or they're just better? And how does that sort of, what does that mean for the rest of the ecosystem? Mm -hmm. All that is is history. If you look at any given industry at birth, there, are, well, I'll, I'll give you a specific example. At the turn of the century, not, not this last one, the 1800s, <laughs> 1900s, uh, there were well over 300 auto manufacturers uh, in the United States. And it kind of comes down to, depending on the category of player, two, three, four. If you look at broadcast networks, it came down for years to three. Then we added Fox as the fourth. And you know you can argue about little additions, but the reality is things come down to three and four in terms of primary industry players, regardless of the industry that you're in. So Facebook, Google, very dominant right now. I think what's interesting about the technology sector is that it wasn't 10 years ago that we thought that Yahoo, AOL, and MSN we're kind of settling into the next generation of ABC, CBS, NBC. How wrong were we? Um, so I think that, that a couple of mega players emerging as the clear, in this case, number one and, and, and two. Uh, to me, this is historical uh, in terms of understanding the, the past so you can understand the future. Um, I think the degree of dominance after just a few years of being in business whatever that is, 10, 12, um, it's very significant. But what that tells you is that the pace of technology um, is extraordinary and will continue to be extraordinary. So that's, it is mega dominance, and I think there's huge opportunity for a number three and four player uh, to come on in. I think marketers and their agencies will welcome that, and we'll see who it is.